This is episode 32 of the Just Ask Joey podcast. And she was like, who? And he was like, nah. And we was like, what? And she was like, who? And he was like, nah. And we was like, what? Just ask Joey. Hello, and welcome to Just Ask Joey. I'm your host, Joey. This is the only place on the internet where a former idiot answers your questions to help you either avoid idiocy or get over your idiocy. Today, not so much with the idiocy. The question of the day is, how do I stop being scared and go for my dreams? And this is a, this is a huge question because I think there's a lot of people out there. And if you're being honest with yourself, you, you understand that you kind of sit there and you do, your, you do your work, you do your daily grind and you get up every morning, you work hard. But really, you wish you were doing this or really you wish you were doing that. And <clears throat> you may not even know why you don't, you aren't pushing it. But I know that if you really get down to it, it's really about being scared. And one way to help you kind of get down to the root of why you do or don't do something, I like to use this thing called the five whys. And it's basically just what it sounds like. You ask yourself why five times. So why am I, for example, like why am I not, why did I, have I not written a book? Let's say that's your thing. Well, why? Well, I don't have time. Well, why don't I have time? Well, because I work really hard. Well, why do you work so hard? Well, because I want money. Well, why do you want money? Well, so I can have time to do things I like to do. Well, what do you like to do? Well, I like to write. And then you're back to, well, why don't I write? Well, we really did you don't want to make time. Really did you don't want to give up money. And why? Because you don't think that what you're going to do is going to provide you with that money. You don't think what you're going to do is going to be able to replace the, the work and job and stuff that you're doing already. So basically, you're not doing it because you're afraid you'll fail. I mean, really, who wants to admit that they're not good enough to do what they really dream about? Like you see those people on American Idol. Like once you go on American Idol, you have to admit whether you can sing or not. Like there's no in-betweens when you have somebody telling you that you suck. And that's hard. It's hard when you have a dream. And, you know, some people's dreams are realistic. Some people's dreams are not realistic. But I would bet that most of your dreams are pretty realistic if you look at them in a realistic way. So I'm going to give you three things to kind of manage your fear and to get you taking steps and being productive towards reaching your goals. So the first thing that you really need to look at is taking baby steps. One thing that I think is a deterrent to going for it is looking at the project like as a whole like let's say you're a musician and you're gonna go, I want to come up with an album and I want to be a famous whatever I want to be a famous musician so instead of looking at all the steps that it takes to becoming a famous musician and there are uh, millions of steps that it takes to becoming a famous musician you just look at the end product you look at the videos you look at the articles you look at their websites you look at the shows where they're playing in front of hundreds hundred thousand people ten thousand tens of thousands of people and that just seems so big. But if you take a step backwards, you take all the steps backwards to the beginning point, it starts with writing a song. It starts with singing. It starts with recording. It starts with like little baby steps. So instead of looking at your project as a whole, and there's a thing that Tony Robbins says, he says people overestimate what they can do in a week and they underestimate what they can do in a year. Part of the baby steps is you have to actually take the baby steps. So take a baby step every single day. If you spend an hour, only an hour every single day, doing something that can lead you towards your goal, and this is going to be like a real defining moment, like the things that don't lead towards your goal, you stop doing. The things that lead towards your goal, you do. So maybe it's recording a song. Maybe it's learning something. Maybe it's reading something. Maybe it's studying something, watching something else. As long as you do something every single day, by the end of that uh, by the end of that year you have 365 hours put in to that craft and it's only an hour maybe you start with a half hour maybe you make it easier like like make it so it's 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 possible to do but do a little something every single day there are days that i write a ton of stuff and there are days that i read a bunch of articles and there's days that i listen to a bunch of podcasts there's there's different days and different things you do to Go towards your goal. But as long as you're doing something every day towards your goal, you realize that pretty soon, like things start 
getting much easier. At first, you may have a hard time even figuring out what to learn about, what to look up. And as the more and more you do, the more questions that you would have are answered. The more, and then you get new questions come up, and you have more insights into things you can do. And and the more you get into it, the more you can kind of see it. But you have to actually do it in order to see it, if that makes sense. And you're going to look back at the end of the year, and you realize see all the amazing stuff you've done in that last year because you've done something every single every single day. So think about the next step. Don't think about the final step. Baby steps all the way. This is your dream. So you don't need to think of it as, I need to get this done in six months. I need to get this done in a year. Your dream is, I need to get this done. What are the steps I have to take in order to get this done? And then you do them. You, you, you get yourself out there and you take those little baby steps. Pretty soon you're walking, pretty soon you're running. You look back in a year, you look back in two years, you look back in three years, and you look at this marathon that you've been running, and you'll you'll amaze yourself with how much you've gotten you've gotten accomplished. So step number one, baby steps. Step number two, mitigate your risk. A, a huge drawback, and I can think about to the to when I first got into the music stuff and I was doing the band and I wanted to do the band stuff, but I was making a decent living and I was making a decent living, so I couldn't quit the I couldn't do the band 100% unless I was making x number of dollars. So what I would do is I would do it when I could. I'd do it after work, do it on the weekends, take some breaks, use vacation time and stuff and tour and record and whatever. Don't quit your job until you can make enough money. Like people like to go, "Oh, I'll just quit my job and go all out 100% on it." Well, that puts a lot of pressure on you and that will put you into a situation where you're feeling very desperate. You do not want to be desperate at any point because when you're desperate, you're going to make stupid decisions. You're going to make irrational choices. You're going to do things that you wouldn't normally do because you're desperate. Allow yourself to not get desperate by making time as opposed to quitting your job or doing stuff. Like there's a lot of things you can do. Maybe don't hang out with friends as much. That seems that's that's like a pretty big one. Maybe don't you're talking, thinking about money. Maybe don't eat out as much. Maybe don't buy such expensive wine maybe don't buy such expensive hard alcohol or don't drink so much how about just that because you're going to need your brain so don't be drunk all the time um cut out things you don't need you know maybe you don't need all those minutes on your phone maybe you don't need all that data on your phone maybe you don't need all those channels maybe you don't need to watch the nfl network this year and figure out how to cut costs so you're not putting so much pressure on yourself because it's gonna you know pretty much whatever you're gonna do that's gonna cost something even if it's just a little bit mitigate the pressure of the cost and everything by kind of cutting back on other things and really think about what's more important like the social stuff the hanging out stuff the fun stuff or the dream like really your goal should just be fulfill your dreams work on your dreams and your family like that's kind of it take care of the friends and stuff hang out with the friends every once in a while but like cut back on it like do you think Gary Vanderchuk is out hanging out all the time with his friends no he's working or he's with his family you think Casey Neistat is out hanging out all the time. No, he's either working or he's with his family. Because if it's really a dream, if it's really your dream, that's fun. It's okay to work seven days a week when you're doing something that you love doing. It's okay working on weekends and working late. Like just forget the whole nine to five thing. The people that are the people that are only working nine to five on stuff are not working on anything worth crap. So the whole, oh, this is my job. I do this on the weekend, blah, blah, blah. This is your dream. Dreams are 24-7, 365, your whole life. Think of it that way. Don't think, don't think so small. Think big, okay? So mitigate the risks so you're not putting pressure on yourself, money, time, all that stuff. Keep a job. Cut back on expenses. Those kind of things can help you create uh, an environment where you're not feeling pressure so you can give your dreams and the steps and stuff the proper time and the proper care that they need in order for you to reach your goals. The third thing you need to do is change your mindset. Everything you know about winning and losing, throw them out. Losing and failure, not even in your vocabulary anymore. So you can't even look at it like that. You don't. It's not even an option, so it's gone. Not even in your vocabulary. Because everything you do is a, is a thing you learned. It's a thing you learned not how to do. It's a thing you learned how to do better. It's a thing that you can reflect on. Everything, think of yourself like Thomas Edison. The whole quote... Um, I haven't failed. I found 10,000 ways that don't work. That's you. He never failed. 
you never fail. You may find 100,000 ways that don't work, but you know what? You know those 100,000 ways don't work, and then you find the one that does work, and then you focus on that. You can't fail. Just don't let yourself fail. When things don't go the way you want them to, figure out what went wrong and fix it. When you don't have, you don't reach the goal that you wanted to, figure out what went wrong and fix it. That's it. No more failures. No more, no more losing ever. All you do is win. As long as you take a step forward yesterday, as long as you take a step forward today, as long as you take another step forward tomorrow, you will win every single day. You are no longer losing. You have your goals. You reach the goal. You win every single day by doing something for that goal, learning something towards that goal, figuring out something towards that goal. That's how you win. That's how you don't lose every time. Um, One thing that's going to happen is you guys are going to have down days. When you're working on your dreams, because it's part of who you are and it's your heart and soul and your guts, you're going to have down days. Things you know, things pop up, you're not where you where you want to be or you wish you were or you do what I did yesterday and compare yourself to somebody else who's completely not in the same doing the same thing as you, but they're doing very well and you're happy for them, but you reflect on your stuff and go, okay, maybe my stuff's not connecting the way I want it to. And you just have to figure out ways to get yourself out of that funk. I use working out a lot. I use sleep. I'm not sleep like I'm depressed. I'm going to go to sleep. Like I sleep well at night. I get try to get seven to eight hours every night and eat well. Like I said, work out, cold showers, things that just kind of help you get out of your funk. A lot of meditation and figure out the things that help you get out of your funk because you're going to get into a funk. That's what happens when you're putting your heart and soul into something. Some days are some days are rough. Most days are fantastic. But you, you figure out what works and, and what doesn't and you do what works, obviously. Remember, long term, whole life, your goal is not something that you can give six months to. It's not something you can give a year to. Don't put a time limit on it. Throw your calendar away, okay? You stop working on your goal and your dreams when you're dead, okay? As long as you wake up tomorrow, you work on your goals and your dreams. You just keep doing what you're doing, taking baby steps because your dreams are pretty much who you are. So you can't ever put a cap on who you are. Oh, I'm going to give myself 12 months to do this. Well, what the hell does that mean? I'm going to give myself three years to do this. What the hell does that mean? If anything, you're just going to put pressure on yourself and you're going to scare yourself out of doing stuff. No cap, no time limit. Work on something every single day. You'll look back in a year. you look back in two years. you look back in three years and you'll have done some amazing things. And check yourself. Audit yourself. Make sure that you are doing what you should be doing and doing everything you can. Maybe the half hour a day turns into an hour a day. Maybe that hour a day turns into two hours a day. Maybe you find other places you can work it in. Maybe you put in a full day on Saturdays and Sundays. That's an extra 16 hours a week towards your goal. You'll figure it out as you get there. But but audit yourself and figure out where you can gain more, more leverage, more knowledge, more output, all those things. Because everything that you guys want to do and everything you guys dream about is attainable. Don't think short term. Think long term. Long game, long term, life goals. Get at it. I'll talk to you guys soon. And she was like, who? And he was like, nah. And we was like, what? Let's go. Let's go.